13 Jaguar XJ. Uh, it came in with the check engine light and uh, link codes. I got the. I have the um, codes here pulled up. All right, so it's bank one, bank two, link codes. I'm under the uh, global OBD2, and it's the same same codes if you're in the uh, enhanced mode. So if you want to see the freeze frame real quick, uh, got it load up. All right, the freeze frame here. You can see that the engine's hot. All right. Uh, you can see the long trim, long uh, fuel trims here. This is bank one. Uh, bank two. You can see it's all positive. Uh, adding fuel. And the RPMs is uh, idle. Um, I already fixed this car. Let me show you what I found to be the problem here. Right, let me go to the front. Alright, so this one has a PCV valve. Kind of like the ones from the Volkswagen and Audis that go bad as well, and you can replace that diaphragm type PCV. You can see it was broken for sure, and it has a cap with it. Um, so it's located in this area, right here in the back. It's a little, it's a little, um, it's not that bad. See, P2 is right there, you see it? Um, the cap, you see kind of the cap right there. Okay, so I replaced it, and I'm about to start it to see how it sounds. Or not the sound, well the sound and the, the data, if it's taking away fuel now. Let me get you set up. Okay, I'm about to start it after repairs. See the numbers, how they react. Okay, so engine coolant is 75, so from a dead cold start. Okay, went to close loop there. And The number looks good. Long term started low, so it didn't it didn't start back where it was, like at 50 or 44 percent. I guess it just starts over every time after a code play poke. I have no idea, but the number looks okay. Oh, there it goes. Okay, there it is. That's the number before, and now it's compensating. So that's gonna go down to 10, long-term 10, after after it's all said and done, after clearing codes or, I think this is a fix. Let's see what it sounds like over there now under the hood. All right, coming around the engine here. Um, when I first got here, um, you can hear a big hissing noise, like a, you know, and you can, it's a dead giveaway. There was a leak, a vacuum leak. Uh, so what I did is I, I got my stethoscope, and I was just trying to pinpoint around this area because I can hear it on this area really loud. Um, finally, I, you know, I. Um, we got a flashlight. <laughs> Finally, I said, well, that little valve looks like the valve that goes, go bad in the Volkswagen and um, Audi's, right? So what I did next is I, I grabbed that plug. So I followed this hose here and then go right there. I disconnected that and I plugged it. And the hissing noise went away and my fuel trend numbers got better so right then and there I knew that there's got to be something wrong with that diaphragm and lo and behold it was uh, this is a Jaguar like I said but the kit came in a Land Rover package 
Well, Lambo Jaguar, I guess it's the same thing. So it's a little, they call it a PCB kit from the dealer. Put it on, fix it. It was not that hard to put on. It was a little bit, a little bit of struggle, but if you know, if you know, you know, if you're mechanically inclined, you, you'll, you'll figure it out. Yeah, and that's it. Oh yeah, I got another one back there. Another Jag. Um, this is the X XF, I think. Anyways, it looks kind of the same. Um, same engine, actually. Uh, it's it's all-wheel drive as well. This one is too. And on that one, um, I did a front differential. It had a uh, noise, uh, really like a bearing noise. Oh, but only in low speeds. It's weird. Once you get up in in the you know faster the noise would go away and this is this is what is wrong with it the different the opinion has play and you can hear it right so I replaced that on that Jaguar and um yeah it was it was a pain uh, lower lower the subframe and all that but you know I never done one so I'd, my first one so you can see the play there and that's how I found this noise to be from this area okay well that's it thanks